A Hail Mary, followed by a deadly rush. The proof to all those with doubts and guns that unlike them, the old ways have never had an edge to lose. Hi, it is now day two of Operation Glass House, bringing you the start of the series you've all voted on without the realization of a little caveat that I don't care what you want me to do. You thought you'd have a shotgun, and so did I. But today, I'm bringing you a weapon of war far more sophisticated and potent in every manner imaginable. I'm Six Snipes, this is The Stick, and you're watching Gun Guy. Firearms, well, as we know them at the very least, being a relatively highly recent development in the technology of warfare, have their faults. Shotguns are slow to fire, slower to reload, and as my last day of testing, the new additions to the game has proven, rather inconsistent with their ability to get the job done. Being an avid fan of machine guns myself, or otherwise hoping for something frankly cooler than what we got, I must confess that on those fateful days of announcement weeks ago, my hope in Operation Glasshouse faded. Gunners needed support, but no such weapons would come. The M1014 would be cool as shit, but it would be too overpowered be because this, this isn't for anything. And in my darkest moment, when all hope was lost, this came. The Baton. I realized for the first time ever in the history of the franchise, we would receive a new breed of weapons in which the means of which we make war would forever change. We got the stick. Part of the paid SORT gear set, the baton is the first of its kind. Alongside an insurgent equivalent, we have finally been granted the ability to finally, dramatically alter the way we play insurgency. Well, not the default melee weapons. Some may venture to say that between this and this, there must not be that much of a difference. But in reality, those people could not be more wrong. The bayonet style tactical knife granted the security team by default is small, pointy, relatively straightforward, but when it comes down to it, inferior in design. This is what we have been forced to use for as long as insurgency has existed, but no more. See, the tactical choice of the baton offers all the features of bigger, longer, stealthier, stickier, and while incapable of penetrating the enemy with its dull and rounded shaft, far superior in the way that while a sharpened toothbrush such as the insurgent's new shank is defeated by armor, the much more balanced design of stick ensures that kinetic energy is the driving force and therefore better transferred through inconsequential items such as ballistic grade headgear, body armor, and teammates. The concept of the club, predicated around the sheer brutality of force but finesse of craftsmanship, has existed ever since primitive societies were in the midst of development of relatively less important however still ground-shaking developments such as language, law, discourse, and the wheel. Ever since, it is a well-known fact that anyone armed with one or more sticks and the will to use them is more than capable of fending off impossible numbers of enemies and countless foes with ease and grace. Such as so for Insurgency Sandstorm's edition. The composite polymer construction allows for a very lightweight mask, optimal for rapid blows, however still strong enough to pulverize virtually anything into sheer non-existence fast enough to strike enemies before they are granted the chance to react to your attacks and with the ability to dodge shots gracefully, biding time until the enemy is out and you are capable of landing the one critical strike that wins the encounter. Unlike the more popular primaries you see other, more meta-minded players utilize, such as the more well-rounded M4, the baton does not struggle in performance due to petty grievances such as gotcha, bitch. price attachments and is not defeated by the critical weakness such as relying on ammunition to function. Rather, with its simplistic yet deceptively advanced design, one baton is all someone needs to go forth and destroy the enemy from wherever they may come. To assist your team by defending objectives and to be complemented when in danger by the diligence and skill of your fellow operators. So how does one optimize the stick? First and foremost, the very first thing any good stick user will do is equip the SORT riot gear set. This is not only shielding to you from the advances of hostiles while you make your blitz in their direction, but offers a level of drip hitherto undreamt of by the likes of virginic users of the Greyman cosmetic set or else skull troopers everywhere. 
For secondaries, the well rod is particularly alluring with its near identical profile, simply being a stick shaped gun, capable of quietly and discreetly suppressing and disabling enemies from all ranges. And for anyone willing to spend actual credits without doubt, Big Iron is the way to ensure that enemies beyond your already lengthy range of attack are no longer safe there either. And whilst I experimented with supplementing this build with something like a shotgun, the reality is heavier weapons simply slow you down and really inhibit the weapon that you will be using primarily and therefore are incapable of making the cut. However, for a only fractional weight increase, you of course have the ability to use the ninja's greatest tool, the flashbang. Theatricality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. Finally, and most importantly, be it dedicated to your memory that in the hands of a skilled professional, the stick is a weapon without equal. No shotgun, sniper, or assault rifle is safe within your reach, and no objective is beyond your grasp. May it be forever known that the only three things capable of besting one of its caliber are arrogance, folly, and an equal. Overall, I think that as the star addition to the update 1.12 roster of new content, seeing it come after the first two in announcements, rather underwhelming additions, at least assures me that New World Interactive is capable of holding out on us. I am glad that in the end it made the cut and look forward to any further additions such as nunchucks, possibly a pizza cutter, and of course the Fortnite unicorn stick. But until then, I'm Six Snipes, this is the ever versatile stick, and you've been watching Stick Guide. I'll be waiting for you to drop the soap in the glass house. Use the forget me stick. Oh, right.